a very good day all so we have discussed a lot of things how to work with visual studio code how to connect your visual studio code with your salesforce organization and all now let us uh, try to have something called a snippet generator okay so this is going to be very very important and very much helpful for you in your salesforce working career carefully observe everybody so go to google and type a snippet generator see the first link that is what is that snippet hyphen generator dot app just click on it guys okay see so many times uh, we commonly use some kind of code commonly use some kind of code right so like uh, for example look at this let me go to my scripts here carefully observe so i want to print something what will i do system dot debug of okay so and we write here hello world let us assume i am a person who usually use this kind of thing multiple number of times multiple number of times what can i do i can simply store it as a snippet in my visual studio code and it is you can just get it at any point of time okay so that is what a snippet is for example for example see this so i will provide a description here which will tell you what this script this uh, snippet is about so debug okay uh, string debug i will say string debug and uh, what is the trigger that you want to this to be loaded what is the trigger that you want this to be loaded like a nickname or alias or whatever it might be so i will say uh, this is description right so prints or debugs a string can you see on the right hand side what is happening okay whatever i do so that is being created uh, like some kind of uh, uh, code or something and i have already selected the visual studio code but if you are going with a different editor like sublime or atom so based upon that also the snippets can be generated here and the tab trigger i am saying string debug and you can see the prefix has come up here and let us use a character special character which will help me to launch these things like exclamation mark or something so that it will not be mixed with all the characters and all okay then so what is that you want to do you want to use this system dot debug of semicolon and string and you can see at the bottom they have given you something called as place holder that is whenever we get code suggestions our control will be stopped somewhere right so that is where this is what about so i will say control i and i will say hello world hello world right and there you go i have successfully created a snippet the question is where to store this snippet in my visual studio code this is completely unrelated to salesforce guys please listen to this very carefully okay so go to your visual studio code open the command palette everybody control shift p okay uh, and uh, just search for snippet see what it is saying configure user snippet fill file with snippet and insert a snippet let us insert a snippet okay so there is no snippet currently available let me create one snippet then configure user snippets see we are having a lot of uh, codes here like so for sql for uh, these things uh, different different languages different different kinds of snippet file you can maintain so i am going to maintain something for apex okay for apex or you can simply create a new series new snippet file or you can do whatever you want or you can go for a global file which can be used for all the languages all the languages but let us not make it hasty and just click on apex here see an apex dot json file has been created and you can see how to place your snippets here and all and come here come here and uh, copy this code here available or you can copy snippet here and place it here and then just simply click on save and that has been saved successfully now whenever you go to any apex code and you say this one and say 
string actually it is uh, not uh, considering it as uh, this one okay let me do one thing guys let me At this because this is an uh, apex file it is not coming it should usually come okay let us do one thing uh, configure user snippets i will say global snippets file okay or for this global means it, it will come for everybody so let me control shift t again configure user snippets a new snippet file i'm going to create for swiss tech demo that is particular this one swiss tech demo and i will say the file name as my snippets Okay, and then just place it here. Save it. Now you try this exclamation mark. See, can you can you see that string debug? Click on it and see it is waiting there. It is waiting there. That was that is called as a placeholder. That is a first placeholder. That is a first placeholder. And I can simply say Sujit Majit. I did not do anything. I just say Sujit Majit and click on tab. It will take you to the next placeholder. As simple as that. So this is how you can generate snippets and this is going to be a very 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 day saving for you so which is going to be helpful for you a lot i guess make sure uh, you create a snippet in the snippet generator app here and copy the code create a snippet file for your thing i mean for your uh, salesforce or the uh, kind of uh, thing here and it will generate for only this one see that is why it is available in this switch tech demo in the visual studio code vs code dot vs code extension my snippets dot code hyphen snippets file is there okay you can go here at any point of time so accidentally i think you will close with this for example you just click on this and it comes up here pretty easily right everyone so this is how we are going to create a snippet and you can create however you want so for example i want to have something for uh, javascript console dot log so you can do a lot of snippets that can be generated so that's it for my side catch so i have a good day everyone so i hope this video was very interesting and it will is going to help you a lot and reduce a lot of time on your hands okay thank you guys bye bye have a good day everyone